Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at yet another best FFAR class up in Warzone and the reason I've done another video on this is because every single week right now we seem to be getting nerfs for the FFAR which changed one attachment and basically once you replace it with a different attachment it plays exactly how it did before and again this has happened recently, people have been changing the attachments out sort of found the best class now, is just this gun just absolutely fries like the FFAR always has done obviously like I said some of the attachments would have changed from my previous class setup so make sure if you want the best FFAR our class up you check this video out right now uh, but quick before we do jump into it if you are new running be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turn on so don't miss any more videos on the channel bro it's 10k subs if you can help us hit that that'd be absolutely amazing if you do enjoy the video please do smash thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on the ffar in the comments below do you think the ffar is still the best smg slash close range gun in the game or now do you think the mac 10 or the new psychoff pistols are taking over let me know in the comments below i'll be interested to see what you guys have to say but as usual i'll run you guys through the class up and then also i will show you a bunch of clips at the end so you can make your mind up if you do want to try this ffar up and use it for for yourself but i'm gonna jump straight into it right now so the first attachment we are going for i still use the agency suppressor i know a lot of people actually switch to the standard suppressor so you could try the standard suppressor if you want to i still feel like the agency suppressor is still very good in the game i don't feel like it takes that much away from the gun or makes it too slow or anything like that anymore um basically what it's gonna do is take off the radar when you are shooting obviously if you're using a um close-up gun you don't want to be appearing on anyone's radar it's going to increase the vertical recoil control allowing you to control that gun a lot better to increase the bullet velocity again not meaning too much of a difference because of the fact that you're not going to be shooting that far that the bullet's going to be dropping off that much so that's not really the biggest deal uh but it's also increase that effective damage range again allowing you to win their mid-range gunfights as well be able to do a lot of damage at mid-range just genuinely be able to win mid-range gunfights not do a little bit of damage it's going to win mid-range gunfights and absolutely fry people up close so the next attachment is actually going to go jumping straight over to the stock, which we're going to put the Raider stock on for. This is going to increase the ADS far remove time, which means whilst you're shooting, you can move a lot faster. And with the strafe on this gun, it's going to allow you to move left and right a lot faster and really throw your opponents off. You'll see how I do that in Eclipse. It really throws people off. They don't expect you to be moving left and right so quick. It's going to increase the aim, walk, and move speed. So whilst you are ADS, you can walk around the map a lot faster. And it's going to increase the sprint to fire time, meaning when you are running up on enemies, you are going to be able to have that good sprint to fire time, allowing you to get them first shots off and therefore win a lot more of the gunfights so then on the underbarrel, I'm still using the Bruiser Grip. I haven't really changed out from the Bruiser Grip since uh, I first started using it when it had all the broken attachments with it. I know a lot of people are now starting to use the Field Agent and as well the SFOD Speed Grip just for the fact that you have that better sprint and move time. Personally, I'm still using the Bruiser Grip. I love it. I love the fact that the hip fire actually does go up because when I'm up close in a building, I do hip fire a lot. So having good hip fire actually for someone like me is really, really good because like I said, I make a lot of use of hip firing. So for me, I like the Bruiser Grip. If you don't want to use the Bruiser Grip anymore, maybe try the field agent or the sfod speed grip and just see which one works best for you so coming down to the magazine size um we're going for the standard 50 round mags obviously if you guys know the fast mags got a really big nerf especially for the ffar so the ads time is really slow with the uh, fast mags and the mobility speed is also very slow with the fast mags on so make sure you're just running the standard 50 round mags and you guys will be absolutely fine there'll be no problems there and you'll be absolutely chilling and then finally, guys, we're going for the Serpent Wrap, which is increase that ADS time. Obviously, as you guys know, in the couple of nerfs the FFAR has got, the only thing that's really changed is the ADS time has got a lot slower, and it's still not that slow. You'll see in the clips I'm going to show you, it's still got really good ADS time, especially when it's set up like this. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this class, and it is going to make you feel like you're playing a lot better. So here's a full overlook at the class setup right now. If you do want to pause it, go make it in your game, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'm about to show you guys a bunch of clips of me using it so you can see exactly how this does play out and just how fast this gun is. But just quickly before I do run the clips, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this FFAR class up in the comments below. If you do enjoy it, like I say, smash thumbs up as it really, really does help me out. If you aren't already subbed to the channel, notifications turned on, make sure you do do that. We're on the road to 10k subs. If you can always hit that, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you aren't already following me on Twitch, my link will be in the description with all my other social medias if you want to follow me anywhere else. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. We'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace. I'm up, come We'll not die. Hello, I got you. I got you at the head. Yeah, I'm a game. Fucking. <clears throat> I think he might have just got ghost or did he die? Yeah, I think he has. It might have I just banged the load out. Yeah. Go on, Harry! 
shit, bro. Turn him up, turn him, turn him. Turn him. Right. Nah, he's got walls all day long. If this kid does exactly not have walls. This is up walls, I don't hear from anyone. You're shit, the lot of you, you fucking <laughs> shit. Bro, he's walls. Bro, he's got walls. No, he's shit. He doesn't have walls, no, he's shit. The one, ha the one he's has shit. walls, He's shit. Cheers for playing, boys. Right. Evox. Yes, laddie. Are you in the air? Yeah, I'm doing my COVID test. Dead on, do you? I scared. <laughs> I scared the life out of him. You could hear it in his breath. <laughs> Be advised, UAV is being go. Oh, oh yeah, I need ask one them. No. Enemy in position airstrike. Take cover. I'll take the stick. Vinya, one's top top, you know. Down yeah, two seconds. Down one. Wait, nice. Oh, that one got one shot. Wait, follow me, follow me, follow me. No, no, no. I don't have any plates. I can't do anything. I don't have plates. He's literally a bullet in front of you. There's one, one more, one more. Yeah. I'll put the other guy in one shot. No. Dead. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. The insect's fucked on it. It is as well. Ah oh, man, what? Oh, like what? Like, I'm not playing this game, bro. Like, where do these people come from? I'm being rushed now. Nice. What just played, bro. He's going to do it. 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 I'm really trying to come on. I'm really almost a start to the pistol.